show you what we've done with some of the key line ploughing uh, that we've just done in this one field where we had a real compaction issue, a deep pad, a thick pad at about uh, seven inches and we've gone down to about 10 inches now with the with the key line plough and I'll just show you how that's gone. Uh, I've chucked a little bit of extra seed in a couple of places and uh, we're also just going to roll it in now and, and hopefully and then leave it for about four weeks and see how we get on. So if we just have a look here. As we walk along you can see I've just dug a bit of a hole down in there. You can see we've gone down in about 10 inches in there and um, you know you can just see the impact as we look across the field as I said we're on contour here um, so what the idea is that any water flow that might go through where you've subsoiled will actually um, won't go downhill straight away you'll you'll catch it in an infiltrate we have got field drains in at about 14 to 16 inches underneath there so it was just the water wasn't getting there and in the winter we just had real problems with uh, this field in particular getting waterlogged really early on uh, in the winter because you've only got that sort of six inches above the pan before we had a problem and before that got saturated so hopefully that's going to break through that now it's going to infiltrate much better down to uh, down to the field drains themselves uh, and they'll carry it carry it away also in the summer the idea is because it doesn't shed the water away straight away it just infiltrates it, it stores it better and then over time we'll be able to um, come back and uh, you know we'll have more grass in the summer it won't burn off so quickly okay this is just to show the key line here you can see we've missed the section out just just where we are I've got an area just in front of me I think I showed one of the other videos, the, the six weeks of mob grazing a review, where I've just chucked some organic matter and a bit of seed on on top of uh, the area where the water trough broke, uh, and they trampled it in, got very consolidated. Um, and so I'm going to do a bale. I'm going to stick a bale on here uh, and graze the bale in there. Um, the, the soil did really crack in the in the hot weather, really down to about 12 inches. So any problems with that? you know we've done a better job with natural cracking than we ever would have done with any sort of machinery so now i'm going to feed a bale on there just to improve the organic matter again and we'll go from there um, you can see we've left this section out there's only there's purely one reason for leaving this section out here and that is because i just wanted to control so i just want to see the difference between we still spread muck on this section because I, I mucked the field before we uh we did the key line ploughing um, but this is just going to give us a control so we can see exactly where we are and and, and see you know, if this comes back better or not so good then then we'll know we know how effective the ploughing was okay I don't know if you can hear me over the fans and everything else but I'm just rolling the uh, where we've gone on, on contour. You can see from the field that we're going across the slope everywhere we are with this. And uh, I'll just try and show you. I'm sorry if that made you dizzy, but it's quite hard to do that whilst driving in a, well, not a straight line, but driving on contour. Anyway, it gives you an idea of what we do. You can see a little bit of litter out of the field here as well, which is just down to the, um, it came out of the muck, the muck heap. Someone's obviously been throwing a bit of nonsense inside the muck heap. And well, there's a perfectly good rubbish bin on the yard. Anyway, till next time.